Hi there, I'd like to walk you through a few steps to go and take a Mixamo character, bring it down and bring it into Adobe Dimension. Now there is one step in between. We actually have to bring the file we're going to download from Mixamo into Photoshop and save it out in what's called an OBJ format. Then it can be brought in to Dimensions. Well, here we are in Mixamo. Uh, I've signed on to Mixamo via the Creative Cloud account I have. I'm going to click on Browse Characters. It comes up on the left with a series of characters that you can pick in, from and take a look at and see over here on the side. It comes in with what's called a T-Pose. Now, before I go too far here, A, I am not an expert in 3D. B, I'm not a programmer. C, I've gleaned and gotten information from all over the world and internet and just going through this. If you know a better way, go for it. Show me. At this point, I'm just showing you what I know in sharing that. So here we go. I don't like these character right there, so I'm going to pick my friend the mouse. Here's Mousy. He comes in with a T pose. And then over here, uh, I can also uh, search in here by clicking for a type of character. But what I'm going to do, since I have mouse here, I'm going to go to the upper left and pick animations. Here are different baked in animations that I can apply to mousey here. I can click in the search field and it will come up with different genres I could look at. I could look for a specific action, let's say waving, because I've done it before. And here's some different waving baked in animations. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pick waving gesture. Why? Because I've used it before and I know it works. Over here in this window, I can press and drag and orbit around my little character here. Uh, you can change his enthusiasm over here by waving gesture overdrive. Character to arm space moves the arms of the character away from his body or closer. You want to find a number here where his arms or his hands don't intersect with like his head or his body. And trim is just showing me the frames of the animation if I want to play through just this set. Or maybe from this set to this set. I'm really just experimenting in here and learning about this myself. Uh, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to narrow it down here. And I'm going to actually come down to the bottom left here and click pause there's a little scrub bar here so i can see well those are kind of the gestures i want or the frames i want so here's the frames i want i'm going to download those i'm going to click download here's the most critical point here change the format from fbx to Kalata or Kaleda. i apologize i don't know how to pronounce it yet DAE, that's the key, and I'm going to click download. It's going to download this to my downloads folder, and then we're going to open it up in Photoshop. And I'm going to save it there. It's called Waving Gesture Zip. Okay, what I'm going to do now is quit out of Firefox. It will remember which character and which animation I used in case I come back. Here's my downloads folder. I'm going to go into my downloads folder here. I'm going to come over here on waving gesture. And here's my waving gesture DAE. Uh, I can probably double click and it will open up Photoshop. But just to make sure it does, I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to put it on top of Photoshop. And it's going to load that DAE file. Again, I'm not an expert in this. I'm only showing you what I know so far. In here, it says, here's the height, x height of this. I'm going to put this in pixels because I can understand 72 pixels per inch, and I want it 4 inches high. How about 300 pixels? And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. 
Now, one thing I didn't do before I started to record, I didn't reset my workspace to um, what's called 3D workspace. So let me go to Window, Workspace, pick 3D, and then pick Reset. And then those put those, it'll put the panels back where they default at. My panels I'm concerned about are 3D and properties are really the ones I'm kind of concerned about or knowing about. I'm on my orbit tool in the lower left part of Photoshop. I can orbit around it here. Uh, again, I'm not an expert in Photoshop 3D. I can pan with the camera. I can dolly in and out. I'm just looking through here. Now, I downloaded some animation. So I'm going to go up to Window. And I'm going to come down to Timeline. And that's going to open up the timeline down here. And this timeline, I can have a little scrub bar here. Or I can scrub through the animations I downloaded. So I didn't download very many frames. So that's the, let's say that's the one I want right there. That's all I've got to do. So I'm not going to do anything else to this right now. I'm going to now go up to the 3D menu. I'm going to pick Export 3D Layer. I'm going to change my format to what Adobe Dimension can import. Wavefront OBJ. I'm going to keep the size. It's going to keep all the textures and skins and depth maps and all this stuff here. I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to put my uh, uh, name in front of it or my initials so you know which one this is. I'm going to put MKL, Waving Gesture. I'm going to put it back in my, how about my downloads folder here. And here's Waving Gesture. And I'll save it right in here. So it's saving this file. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, quit in a second. Notice this ping file. This ping file is kind of the texture or skin mapping for here that's just been saved with that. Just keep that in mind for a second. I'm going to go under Photoshop. I'm going to quit. And I'm going to save actually my file out here because I've made some changes to it. I'm going to save it as a waving gesture PSD file in case I want to come back and do some work on it. Okay, so now what we have here is if you look through this series of files, all these are specular glossiness, all that. This is part of the 3D file controlling the, the texture, the uh, depth, um, the roughness and all this of this model that came down from Mixamo. Really, what I want to open up in the dimension is this gesture file here called dot o b j m k l o b j. That's what I'm going to bring into dimension. So let's click on dimension. It'll load up here, and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create something new. And then just your normal procedure. I sometimes go through the plus, sometimes I go through import, sometimes I use a keyboard command, but I'm going to import the 3D model. I'm going to go to my downloads folder. I'm going to go to waving gesture. And notice really the only thing that's active in here is this OBJ file. I'm going to double click on that and it's going to bring Mousy in. Whoa, Mousy is huge. Uh, I'm going to come down here to the lower right where it says size. I'm going to click on the padlock. I'm going to double click here. And I think I'm going to make this about 10% of the size. So I'm going to put in 30. Remember, I can always scale it up. Looking good. So there is Mousy. I'm going to move Mousy around here. I'm going to use my tools. I'm going to hold down the number one to orbit. Number two to move. Whoa. Number two to move, and three to dolly in and out. So I'm going to dolly in and out, and I'm going to orbit up here a little bit like this, and then I'm going to move him down here. I'm going to hit my three and bring him in. So that's all there is to it. Now I have him in here, and I can work with him 
I can add lights and so on and other 3D objects. One more little sweet spot over on the left, excuse me, the right under scene. And if I click on the object chat CH14, that's mousy. And if I come over here, once I click on it under actions, there's this curious little icon here. It says select material. Watch this. I click on that, that brings it up. And what I can do here is I'm going to click on the base color again. And I have a little pencil here. Edit. This looks like the skin of this guy. Huh, he's got these spikes on his shirt. And I think I want to put my name on him. So can I modify this? Well, let's go. Double click. Next thing you know, it's going to load up this ping file into Photoshop. Now, what I'm allowed to do here is just work with it like a regular Photoshop file. So let's say I want to put my name on it. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to click, and I'm going to type in my name. Nothing serious. I can take my move tool and I can move it around and I can change colors and all this other stuff and I'm going to put it right over these spikes and I say well how do you know which spikes to put it over uh, trial and error now notice this is a layered Photoshop file so I'm not going to flatten this I'm going to leave those layers there and I'm going to close this and I'm going to save it Now, when I quit out of Photoshop and come back to Dimension, or I could minimize Photoshop. Now, I'm going to quit just to get some memory back. You'll see an update back here, and there's my name. So you can customize this map or this texture map. Remember, you can double click to edit it. And if you want to have different variations, you could do a save as. So let's say we double click on this. And I'll finish up on this. And so I'm going to reload this one in here. And I'm going to just do something totally weird. I'm going to click on my background. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to add an adjustment layer in Photoshop. And I'm going to go to Window, Adjustments, because the panel isn't up here. I'm going to pick hue and saturation and i'm going to uh, click on the properties down here i'm going to move properties over here so you can see it for a second make it a little bit bigger and what i'm going to do is let's say we want to change the whole hue scheme of this color scheme There we go. So I've changed this whole thing. Now what I'm going to do is this. I can save it because I can always come back because it's an adjustment layer. I can also do File, Save As, and I'm going to give this a name of Blue. Now this is a separate PSD file. Actually, I'm going to change it to a ping. I'm, this is a separate ping file I'm going to save. And I'm going to save it back into my downloads, waving gesture, back into this area right here. I'm going to save it. Okay. Now, don't get confused. I'm going to close this one out. In fact, I'm going to quit out of Photoshop, and I'm going to say, uh, don't save the changes. What? Yep, yeah, not going to save them. So it comes back here looking the same, but here's the reason I did a save as. I can come over here now, and there's a little folder here, and some icons, and I can click this folder to select a file. And I can go find my own blue CH14. 
and that's going to load it up on this character. So there's just a taste of uh, getting a Mixamo character down from the web, bring it into Photoshop, and basically just going in there and picking a frame of animation that I want to use for my pose, export it out as an OBJ file, and then know that I can modify that skin texture file back in Photoshop and even save my own versions and load them in. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and drop me a note.